you cannot start to do humanistic inquiry without thinking critically, without, without undermining your assumptions, and also making arguments that recognize and incorporate the validity of other kinds of arguments. That way of actually going about doing work is something that's essential to medicine, essential to the surgeon, to the physician, to the nurse, to the social worker. My understanding of medical humanities is work that, uh, that happens at the intersection of medicine broadly defined, humanistic inquiry and humanistic expression. And I'm not only thinking of what clinicians do, uh, what surgeons do, what nurses do, but also what social workers do, public health advocates do, what uh, people do in other cultures of medicine. And by humanistic inquiry, I'm talking about definitely the study within humanities, but also the kind of analysis that happens when one writes a poem, uh, the kinds of uh, thinking that happens when one uses a novel to work through the ethics of medical acts and scientific acts. For me, it's been a project of translation, so working with both fields, both disciplines, both the humanities and also the medical sciences to really address certain questions that they have about disease, they have about language and literature. What's fascinating is to see how a novelist goes about solving that problem versus uh, a policymaker who's sitting down and working through conferences to produce a constitution for the World Health Organization. And you see the differences, which are very apparent. So what kind of thinking happens through policy versus what kind of thinking happens through novels. But you also see these wonderful commonalities um, that really lend credence to the argument that medicine is really a confluence of scientific and literary thinking. I'm looking for primarily the way novels work to produce knowledge about medicine to produce ideas of medicine, to enable physicians to make arguments about certain fields like global health or tropical medicine. So my first experience with Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, with Albert Camus' uh, The Plague, uh, was to either be lost in the forest that Joseph Conrad paints and the complexities of the moral compromise of imperialists, or the great scenes of empathy um, in the plague, uh, uh, where people are dying and certain people are striving to care for them. Now I look at them for rhetorical devices, kinds of metaphors and tropes that are picked up by physicians at the time to actually argue for separate fields uh, of, of medical intervention. Part of my project has to do with the way something like global health or world literature is formed are formed as fields. So the way certain fields that are international in scope are constituted. And so that involves sort of public health, the work of public health advocates as well as theorists in world literature. My source materials are novels, uh, poems, uh, uh, scientific articles, I study scientific articles as texts in conversation with novels of the period. Uh, policy declarations, so when I think of ethics, I think of ethics debates that manifest in policy declarations like the constitution of the WHO, the World Health Organization, which was released in 1947. But I also think of those sorts of problems, those ethics problems, that's also manifest in a novel like Albert Camus' The Plague, also released in 1947. So I do that kind of sort of cross, you could call it cross-textual comparison um, of materials within the literary tradition and within the scientific policy traditions. One engages with the theoretical material and then one has conversations with colleagues about certain ideas, certain ways to frame the analysis that you've done with texts.
there's an attempt to remove the um, imprecise, the unresolvable aspects of human culture from the experience of illness and to isolate the human disease. And it's been a project that's been going on at least uh, since the beginning of the 20th century. And there you see the result, the inability to, to deal with the complexities of human existence, the, the inability to deal with the complexities of experience, the wish, the wish, the desire, the failed project of focusing on the pathophysiological, the body, the technological, um, and the kinds of um, failures that arise from that. You don't care. You may treat, but you do not care. Medicine is a confluence of different forms of knowledge. And um, to privilege the scientific form of knowledge or of knowing is to miss opportunities to be, to take care of people in a much more full capacity. Um, it's also to miss opportunities um, that come from historical research, that come from careful attention to language. You miss an opportunity to become critically aware of your own method of caring. Mm -hmm.